out of him more often. You know, he's a very quiet, uh, very uh, just. Uh, he's a young man with a, with a very humble personality. He, he need, you know, like to give Mo just come a little bit of that alpha dog into him, so that he he does that. And if you wa you watch the celebration when he dunked, you saw the the, the bench. This team loves him, but he's got another he got another uh, gear that we're going to get him to. John, what, what's this like in the sense that last year you were probably leaving the arena knew who you were going to play yeah. in the NCAA tournament yeah. night after way a week? Yeah, you know, I, I've been here before with both Canisius and Richmond, and uh, as I mentioned before, there's there's a lot of teams, with the Wichita States and the Gonzagas, they've always had these, the Butlers, they've had these situations back in, when their their league changes, and uh, you just got to you got to pace yourself and you got to embrace and say, you know what? We got time to get better now. We're gonna get better. We're not gonna we're not gonna practice five days in a row, but we practice for two. We go to a little training camp. Uh, we work on foul shooting. We do a lot of things that can make us better during this time. So I, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, I think it'll be a, a nice week where I'm not. You do, we just prepared for five teams in four days. I'm looking forward to not knowing. I, we can't prepare for the next opponent. We just got to focus on ourselves for a week. John, you mentioned about uh, getting better. Um, other than foul shooting, what would you like to improve during this? Oh, man, I, I, I think we always need to see the floor better. I mean, we got several guys that still go with their heads down and they don't see the open man. man. That's a big thing. I think blocking out is something that's slipped over time uh, to make sure pe and just guarding people one on one. And, you know, the, the, the college basketball and pro basketball is turning into they're going to make you shoot, they're going to make you shoot tough twos. They're going to run you off the line. And we got to be better at stopping people, making them shoot twos, and at the same time scoring when you can't get to the rim. They ran you off the line, scoring in between. So those are big things we'll be working on. John, this team has now won two straight Big Ten tournaments with Saudi Washington on. The yeah, how so, about that? Yeah. So what, what does Saudi bring to the table? How has he helped you transform this team over the last two seasons? You know, I, he's Saudi's got a great coaching personality. He's never too high or too low. He's just always just all right. What's next? And he's always thinking. All right, how can we improve the big man? How can we improve our team? He does, does a tremendous job with the scout. So uh, he's just got a really good presence on the team, um, and when he when he speaks, people listen. And he, he, you can see he's worked with, really well with Mo, right? And now with John, I know he's the happiest guy out here because he spent a lot of times with John and uh, made, made him a much better player. You said at the beginning of the week that Compton made some uh, sacrifice to have a tournament. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that paid off at all? Oh, it really paid off. I mean, I wouldn't have said this. When we, we, I think we started off with eight, uh, four games in like ten days or something, or nine days, and we were beat up, but we still won some most of those games. And once we got through that, I thought it was okay. And, and the same thing when we had, I think we had a we had a span of like uh, of Indiana, uh, not in this order, but Indiana, Ohio State, North Carolina, and Texas, in a span of like one week, right? And I think we split it, and uh, you know that was that, that was a good week for us. We split that. So, uh, but it was worth it. Whatever, whatever it was, we didn't complain about it. We just said, this it'll all be worth it. Just persevere through it. Stay with your classes. We'll give you more rest in between. But you got to. We're still going to go on. There's no excuses. We're still going to win these games. Coach, your players said they wanted Purdue because that's the team they hadn't beaten. Did the competitor and you want to see what you could do against these guys again? I was watching the game last night uh, a little bit. I can't tell you who I, I, I just mm -hmm. really never worry about that, Chris. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, I just want to know who it is, mm -hmm. so we can begin. So we can begin the process. I, I didn't like having short turnarounds like that and not knowing. You know, I, I'm taking notes. Penn State yesterday. I'm going back and forth. One of my guys are here. I, I'm not comfortable in that. I want to focus in. And, uh, once once uh, Purdue got a comfortable lead, I could focus in, and then we started and we did it. Our, my staff did a great job of preparing for this really good Purdue team. John, what does it say about your team that you were the only team in the Big Ten this year to beat the other 13 teams? I didn't know that. Thanks for that information. I think that's that's good. I think you know I liked it. We had we had five or six road wins uh, in the league, and now you go and you played, you know, some terrific teams here. We get we had teams that were either on the bubble or or like top seeds, and uh, play them on a neutral court and win. So I, I just think we have a good team. I think that um, they because they play together. There's there's, there, there may be teams that may have more talent some, in some areas. We have a great team. We just have a great team. And that's what I think. Uh, when I came here, I, I came here right after uh, the bow had just passed. And I, I immediately read the book, and, 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 and I could just see why I didn't study him before that. And I, I just really understood that 
what Michigan was all about, and that's been our emphasis ever since. We talk about those things. This is like five or six banners now for you guys. When you got here, you didn't have one in forever. This, you ever, you allow yourself now to think about some of that stuff? I mean, I know it's hard the moment. I think I'll be really proud um, what, one day when I step away. Uh, and I look up and I see those banners. And say, okay, that was that was the, that first one that we got way back with Manny Harrison, Deshaun Sims. That we got an NCAA tournament, right? Or or the the, cha the championships uh, that we got. So it's it's fun to put them up, uh, but it's an awful lot about the young men that we've been able to recruit, right? We we've, we've really recruited well to get the right kid who's fit for Michigan and can grow and get better in victory and defeat. Is it fair to say that big games now in tournaments are bringing out the best in X? He is a, he, he's a tough, he's just a tough kid and a real bulldog. And he and I clash sometimes, right? We had a lively discussion about how to solve the Nebraska 131 zone. And he didn't like the tactic we were using. And so I just said, just trust you. Can you just stop? Trust me. We're going to do this. And he did it. And it, it, it worked. So he's, he's going to, like I say, he's going to be a great coach. When he's at our camp, he is with by far like every kid would probably want to play on his team in our camp because he's got a lot of energy, loves to win, uh, great family. Uh, he's bringing out, I think, the best in a lot of people, including me. John, John you said, oh, I'm sorry, you Stop. said you have a, a great team. What brought it together this year? What tied it together? What, what element? I don't think you put a finger on that. I think we have just the right people. Duncan Robinson, for example, all of a sudden, you know, he's. He's a pretty comfortable six-man role. DJ Wilson goes pro. Right now, he's going to need to play it back at the four position. And uh, all of a sudden, it's not working well. And he's got he to gotta sit down. He played like 10 minutes, I think, against these guys both times we played him. And he got to sit back and say, Duncan, we're going to play you. you got to start making shots, right? He was shooting 25% or something. He just like didn't like it for a few days, and then came back and started making shots, right? Muhammad Ali, I finally figured it out. I don't need to talk with Muhammad. Muhammad's got it, but I was like, "Come on, Muhammad, you got to give us more." He wasn't, gonna, you know, um, as far as energy, the visible energy. He was giving us every bit of energy once we got on that court. But I just let him be silent. Last two days we were in that locker room. He didn't say a word. He was preparing, and then he lets his game speak for itself right now. And then I thought Mo in the first semester was really pressing, trying to do too much, and then. Finally, when we came to uh, the, the second semester, he got through that injury. I think he understood really how, how we have to do things and became a much better defender than he'd been earlier in the year. Scott, two more. Family. Two more. Coach, you talked to, uh, you talked yesterday about you and uh, Mo's relationship. And you found you guys yeah. Had. Um, he's on the bench there at, at the end of the game. You go over and give him a hug. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about that. Well, well that's it. like I said, I, I think you've heard the story that I got in the elevator with him in Berlin when I went to see him visit, and I got in the elevator, and the elevators in Europe are, are small. And he talks to me all the way up to the elevator. It's like three or four floors to his flat. And he's just talking to me, and I'm, I said, what an engaging young man. And I said, if he can play at all, he's getting a scholarship. You know what I mean? I hadn't seen him yet uh, play except on video. And it's just like, he's the type of guy you just want on your team. And his, his personality, X's personality, the blend of what we have has made this team special. It really has. Speaking of Mo and the family effort there, his mom, you guys are perfect when she's in attendance. Any yeah, chance yeah. of making sure that yeah, she's at the she, tournament run? She, I think she'll have to do that. Unless the NCAA spends some rules, she, she'll have to try and uh, change some rules. I think she'll, she'll, she'll probably make it or, uh, or, or uh, Mo's father, her husband, Mo's father, or his brother, uh, Franz, will, will make it, hopefully. And um, he's just having a great year, and, and he's really just focused on the team right now. And he, he got a whole lot, of, whole lot of confidence out there. We ran a wrong, when he hit the three in the corner, we were supposed to run a different play. It was supposed to be a lob to the corner. We didn't, you know, we're trying to, I got Larry and Joyce, I'm trying to scream what we're going to run. He runs, I don't know what he did, I don't know what X did, and all of a sudden the ball's in. And we were very fortunate in this whole tournament, the way the ball bounced. It really bounced our way. Thank you, folks. All right, thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.